Hey folks, Justin from Tackle Tactics, continuing with our series on our individual Z-Man plastics and breaking down how to rig and fish those particular plastics. Today, we've got a plastic that has a bit of a cult following, and that's the 3.5 inch Trick Swims. So, its name came about, it is a swimming plastic, it's a paddle tail, so it's a Swims, and it's got a pretty trick action with that crazy tail that it's got on there. So that is the 3.5 inch trick swims. So that tail design based around that tail on the slim swims. So if you love those plastics and you're looking for a bigger version of them, check out that 3.5 inch trick swims. Has that long thin tail shaft and it's got that underhook tail design on the back there. So you do get a really, really crazy tail action and body roll out of there that attracts a stack of different species. It's, it's go-to for guys. It's, a good, it's, it's really one of those plastics that's got a cult following and I get messages from people, another jack on the three and a half inch trick swims or another bass on the three and a half inch trick swims. You know, another mulloway, another barrel, whatever their, their go-to species is, they've really dialed in this plastic on that species. And the cool thing about it, it's got that ribbed body design. It's got that long tail shaft. It's got that big underhook tail. So it has a, a, an action that is very different and a noise in the water that's very different to the other paddle tails in the range. So it can be used as a plastic to try and switch things on when they're quiet, or it can be used as a plastic just to, to offer the fish something totally different to what they're seeing all the time. So check out that Trick Swim 3.5 if you haven't seen it. Available in a bunch of colours. The range of colours is not as comprehensive as, say, the minnows or the diesel minnows. However, you're still covered for your natural clear bait fish colours for those light bright days. You've got those darker silhouette colours in there for dirty water and low light conditions. And there's also some fluoros and that sort of thing in there. As well as that, there's some out of the box left field colours as well in there like Festivus, uh, Shrimp Po Boy, there's some hot tail style plastics in there with a, a different tail color as well, like a pumpkin with a chartreuse tail. So some really cool colors in there as well if you wanna mix things up, change things up a bit. All right, so let's have a look at how we are gonna rig this paddle tail plastic. Again, this is a general rigging setup. So some guys will go smaller in jig head size or larger in jig head, jig head size to suit specific species. However, commonly, this plastic is rigged on a 2.0, 3.0 and a 4.0 plastic. So you might sneak a 5.0 in there, you might even go smaller depending on the particular species you're targeting. But a 2.0 in that leaves a lot of tail out the back end there. But I do know some bass guys that fish that 2.0 in there. They fish that smaller hook size so the fish can really inhale that plastic easily and then they rely on that 2.0 to pin inside the mouth of the fish. Otherwise, we step to a 3.0, and then we can go from there to a 4.0. So in the finesse jig head, the headlock's finesse, so that's our Gamakatsu hook, fine wire hook designed for penetration, uh, so great for light lines, great for light drag settings, and that sort of thing, where we really want to pin that, that fish, maximum penetration. So available in a 2.0 and a 3.0 in that headlock's finesse, when we do want that maximum penetration in that jig head. So a 2.0, you can see it there in a 2.0 and also a 3.0. So for me, 3.0 is the magic size for this plastic. It leaves plenty of tail out the back, which is gonna give you plenty of tail action, plenty of roll, lots of movement. And then you'll see the bulk of the body starts to tape away, away there as well. So when the fish hits it, that tail folds away quite easily. So that's a 2.0 and a 3.0 in the finesse, the headlocks finesse. Then we step from there to the Headlocks HD. So as we have discussed previously on these rigging videos, the difference between the two, that Headlocks HD is on that mustard black nickel chemically sharpened hook. It's a brutally strong hook. So we can see that color change, the blue on the top, black on the bottom for our finesse, black on the top, blue on the bottom for our HD that makes them easy to identify when you're looking for a jig head in store. Also, you've got an L for light wire or a H for heavy wire. And also you will see on here, there's a little HD on this one, or there's finesse series on the finesse series of jig heads. So easy to identify the two. It's just a matter of deciding what your application is. If you're you know, fishing open water for bass or uh, even flathead and that sort of thing, you might go that light wire. If you're trying to extract heavy fish from structure or you've got jig head destroying species like snapper, then you may want to opt for that heavy hook. So there on our HD, we've got that three and a half inch trick swims on a 2.0 a 3.0 
and then also on a 4.0. So I'll push it onto a 4.0 jig head for a species like Jack, Barramundi, Mulloway, even Snapper, where I'm looking for that larger jig head. I know some guys do squeeze a 5.0 in, but for me, that 4.0 is about as far as I want to go down the tail. I want to leave plenty of tail hanging off the back there so I get maximum action. And that 4.0 gives you plenty of hook exposure as well. So that's our 2.0, 3.0 and 4.0 in our Headlocks HD. So finesse presentation, HD presentation. Then we can step to a painted jig head. Painted jig heads are getting more and more popular as anglers you know, find a tougher bite. They want to really match that plastic to the head or they want to use that head to pop and really draw fish to the, to the lure. So you can see there we've got a 2.0 and a 3.0 and that's in the Demon's jig head. So it's a tapered painted head with 3D eyes, very natural looking head. I've got the green lantern teamed up with the green there, it looks pretty cool, very, very natural looking. Otherwise, we can throw that chartreuse head on there and utilize that pop of the UV reactive chartreuse head. So we've got two very natural looking bait fish profiles. However, you can see the difference between that green head and that chartreuse head that's gonna have that UV pop. And will it, it'll give you extra attraction. So if you, if you fish, especially if you're fishing for fish that are active, actively feeding, or they're more aggressive, that, that UV reactive plastic or head can really, really fire them up. And that's our Gamakatsu hook. So that's a finer wire hook then, again, for maximum penetration. Great on bass, flatties, those sorts of things. Then we step to the big eyes. So the big eyes jig heads are again a painted jig head. However, we are on a brutally strong hook. We're on that mustard black nickel chemically sharpened hook, the same as on the HD jig head. So our demons for that finer wire, our big eyes for that heavy wire for snapper, mull away that stopping power. So that's a 2.0 and a 3.0 in the demons, or there's a 3.0 in that big eyes. And again, we've got that popping head on that green lantern with that chartreuse head, and then we've got that mood ring with the black head and that gives us a real good darker silhouette color for fishing dirtier water, darker conditions, getting it right down deep, utilizing that glow eye. So we've got our chartreuse head for the pop on that natural bait fish, or we've got that natural dark silhouette there, which has been doing really well for me on Mulloway, that black head with a glow eye on a darker colored plastic, just on the school jewies. So very effective option. We can then step from our standard and our painted heads to adding flash to our trick swims. So our 3.5 inch trick swims, we've already got loads of action, crazy action. Throw a bit of flash on there as well and the fish are not gonna miss it, that's for sure. There's loads and loads of action in there. So there we have it on a 2.0 and a 3.0. And again, that's that mustard, black nickel, brutally strong hook. So that's the same hook as is in the Headlocks HD and the big eyes. And that is gonna stop pretty much whatever you can hook onto. So that's a 2.0. And that's our 3.0 with that bit more hook exposure if you're wanting to target fish with larger mouths or you need that extra hook exposure for penetration. And it's there in a nickel willow, so a silver in the willow blade or a gold in the Colorado. So you can get gold or silver. Gold, extremely popular in the fresh water and also tannin stained water. And also good early morning, late arvo. Low light really catches that flash. The silver, extremely popular in the salt and also in clearer water impoundments. And the willow runs fast and allows the plastic to run nice and deep. Whereas the Colorado has a bit more stronger thump and does draw the plastic up as you retrieve it a little bit more. So for me, something like, you know, mackerel or snapper or across the flats for floodies with a quick retrieve, I'll probably go that silver in the willow. Bass, slow rolling and that sort of thing for bass, I'll probably go that Colorado in the gold. So that's our Revlox jig head, our Revlox adding flash and vibration in a 2.0 or a 3.0 jig head. And then we've got again that other option of our jig spinner. So our jig spinner simply clips onto the jig head and it allows us some flash and vibration from that blade spinning. And the wireframe also protects the plastic from snagging to a degree as well, which can be handy if you're fishing, not really a crazy structure, but if, you, if you're just running through a bit of timber and around a bit of weed and that sort of thing, it can assist in keeping you snagless. And that just clips on and off very easily. So you can just carry a, a few with you 
You know, if the bite's a bit slow on just running a plastic, you can clip on the jig spinner, add that flash and vibration, could change the day from a quiet bite to a fired up session. So that's our bladed jig heads and our jig spinner. From there, we step to weedless. This plastic is an excellent weedless rig plastic. Its design has a flat back with a rigging slot in there. So you can pull that hook up into that slot, which makes it run through structure really, really well. But it, does, it just takes a bump. It doesn't take much to clear that hook and you'll fish on. So a very good weedless rig plastic. It's keeled design. It's kind of shaped like that. So it has a flat top and it drops down into the belly. So the weight of the hook keels it and it runs quite well. Uh, I generally don't run it on just a, a chin locks with no weight because of the big paddle tail. It makes it go a bit crazy from side to side. You can fish it unweighted if you want to. However, it rigs really, really well on a TT Lewis chin locks SWS. So our snagless weight system jig head so we've got our locking mechanism to lock the plastic in place so it doesn't slide down, being 10 times tough, super soft and flex flexible elastic material. And then we've got our belly weight, our Chinox SWS snagless weight system. And that weight gives us extra casting distant, distance. It assists in keeling the plastic and it allows us to bump it up and over structure and through weed and lilies and all sorts of things. So this is a really, really cool presentation. Loads of action that you can get the rod tip up and fish on the surface, or you can slowly lock, let it sink into snags and that sort of thing and just twitch it and work it out of the snags. Hook wise, 2.0, 3.0, and I'll also rig it on a 4.0. So sometimes when I'm fishing up north, Hinchinbrook, those sorts of areas where I'm a chance of a big barra in amongst the jacks and grunter and other bits and pieces, that 4.0, gives you additional hook strength and also a bit more clearance when the fish strikes. So being a quite a narrow thin plastic it does clear very well and that 4.0 sits right at the back of the top rigging slot there so that's about where it maxes out with a 4.0. So a 2.0, 3.0, 4.0 in a Chinox SWS and you can run that up over the flats, in the drains, in the mangroves, lilies, weed, all sorts of places where fish like to hide and where they like to feed on critters that cruise around in there. From there, we go to our snake locks and our snake locks is available in both a finesse and a HD. So again, you'll see the L for light wire on the lighter hook on the finesse and you'll see the extra heavy on the other snake locks, the heavier snake locks. And also that packaging color reverses again. So red on the top, black on the bottom to black on the top and red on the bottom. So it makes it easier to differentiate between them when you're looking at them on the shelf. The Snake Locks Finesse, I will fish it in a 2.0 and a 3.0. And that 2.0 is good for species like bass and those sorts of things where they might just take that plastic in a bit more subtly. And then that 3.0 is good if they're feeding a bit more aggressively and I'm fishing higher in the water column and that sort of thing where I want that hook clearance when they do whack it. So a 2.0 and a 3.0 in that snake locks finesse and that's that fine wire hook. And with that snake locks, we can switch that head if we require. So we can mix and match head weights and hook sizes depending on our target species or the environment we're fishing or the plastic that we're rigging. So snake locks finesse 2.0, 3.0. And then when we uh, step up to the standard snake locks on the heavier hook, we can go again on the 2.0 and the 3.0 and there is also a 4.0 available in that heavier snake locks. So that 4.0 hook is good if you start to go after barra, jacks, murray cod, you know, fish that you, you want to extract out of structure and you're going to put a lot of hurt on that hook. That 4.0 hook is brutal, nice and strong. And again, in that heavier version, we can get the head separately, the hook separately, mix and match them or we can buy them pre-rigged and ready to rumble in the hook size and head weight that we want to use. So there we go, that is weedless rigged on a 2.0.3.0.4.0. Again, for me, that 3.0 is the magic size in both the weedless and also in the standard jig head. 3.0 is the magic number in that 3.5 inch trick swim. It's a great starting point for all sorts of species, flathead, threadfin, barra, mangrove jack, mulloway, snapper, lots of fish eat this crazy paddle tail. 
So there we go, that is our 3.5 inch Trick Swims. It has a cult following, it's an awesome plastic, catches a ton of different species, has loads of crazy action in there. And we can rig it on our Finesse 2030, 203040 in a HD, 2030 in a Demons, 30 Big Eyes, 2030 in our Revlox. Those weedless options in the 2030 and the 40 are perfect. Add a bit of scent to your plastic. So I just put a little squirt on the head of the plastic and I smear it down the length of the plastic every 30 or so casts and that maximizes your chances of catching fish. I've had times before when the bite starts to get slow, boom, you add a little bit of scent, bang, fish on. Being a paddle tail, I like that sardine pilchard and the mullet. And another good one is the inshore salt water. They're all excellent options for fishing the salt. If I'm fishing this plastic in the fresh, hard to go past the mullet, garlic, aniseed, all favorites in the fresh water. And that scent not only masks foreign odors like sunscreen and fuel, but it's also loaded with bite stimulants, amino acids, UV enhancement, and real ground bait as well to attract fish and trigger strikes. So if you haven't checked out that Procure scent, make sure you check it out because it definitely increases your chances of catching. So there you go, 3.5 inch Z-Man Trick Swims. Check it out, crazy action, see what you can catch on it. Cheers.